Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 8 Network Security dealing with Secure Socket Layer Record Protocol simply known as SSL Record Protocol. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Come let's go into the video. So we have seen what is SSL. It is a kind of protocol. So now we will be in detail seeing about SSL record protocol. This record protocol is providing two services for SSL connection. That is confidentiality and message integrity. So what is confidentiality? We have seen that in the architecture of SSL, we have a handshake protocol. So here in this confidentiality, the handshake protocol will define a secret key that is shared between the client and the server, where the complete data communication between the client and the server is completely encrypted. So next coming into message integrity. The same handshake protocol will have a secret key that is shared between the client and the server which will be in the form of MAC, M-A-C. MAC is nothing but message authentication code. You can observe a code which is maintaining the complete integrity throughout the end-to-end -end user. So seeing this, we can split the record protocol into different steps. Say first being your fragmentation section, next compression, then adding of message, message authentication code, then completely encrypting the data and sending it to the complete record header. So here the first step is nothing but the fragmentation. It is like each of the upper layer messages will be completely fragmented into blocks. So you can observe here, you have n number of data available in the application data wherein each of the data is splitted into each fragmentation. That is, it is fragmented into different blocks. So that blocks can be of 2 to the power of 14 bytes. That is nothing but 16,384 bytes or less than it. So this is, this is the uh, a count of one fragmentation unit. Now, getting into the second step, that is your compression technique. So here, it is nothing but the compression is actually optional. It will be, the compression what we are choosing must be lossless and it should not increase the length of the content. How much it should not increase? It should not go beyond 1024 bytes. So here in SSL, we are using version 3, wherein there is no compression algorithm, which is specified. So we can tell it as the compression technique is null. Next step being addition of MAC. So it is nothing but you are computing the message authentication code. Where the message authentication code is computed? On the compressed data. After getting the compressed data, on the compressed data, your message authentication code is computed. So it is nothing but it is a secret key that is used for calculating the uh, data bytes that is sent from the client to the server. Next. So here you can see a set of algorithm that is being used. So hash MAC write secret. So here you can see that whatever algorithm that we have been following for fragmenting, compressing and encrypting, you can compress and write it like this. Hash MAC write secret pack 2 wherein you are using hash algorithm where you use message authentication code which is nothing but your secret key. Pad 1 and pad 2 is not, nothing but the byte which is repeated uh, till it satisfies the number of bytes that is transmitted from one end to the another end with a sequence number. Each of the data that is transmitted will carry a sequence number from 0 to the 2 to the uh, 2 to the power of 64 bytes, right? So that sequence number followed by the compression type where the MAC code will be generated over the compression 
data. So SSL compressed dot type and you will have a length also and number of fragments. So the length type and fragment determine the different aspects in the algorithm, which I will be explaining now. So here you are us using hash. Hash is nothing but it is an cryptographic algorithm. So MD5, message digest file or SHA1. And this pad 2 and pad 1 is nothing but it is a byte which is repeated n number of times so that it satisfies the algorithm. The basic requirements of algorithm is satisfied. Next, pad, uh, sorry, sequence number. Sequence number is nothing but the message which is sent at the first will have a sequence number 0, second 1, third 2. Likewise, it keeps on going. Next, SSL compressed dot type. It is nothing but it is an higher level protocol where it is used for each of the fragmentation block. It will tell which kind of block it is, what type of protocol it is following. And SSL compressed dot length is nothing but it is the length of the fragment. Here you are telling that the length of the each of the block is 214 uh, bytes. That, that is 2 to the power of 14 bytes. So it will be specifying length of each fragmentation fragment. And finally, SSL compressed dot fragment is nothing but if suppose if there is no compression technique followed, then you will have a plain text that is placed on the application layer. So it will be telling what kind of compressed fragment it is, whether it is really a complex text or plain text. Next, this is the actual, uh, I mean, after compression, you will have a plain text. This is what the original thing is. You will have a type number, version number. You will be telling whether it is major version or minor version. You will have a compressed length with a plain text, which is optional. optional with it, might be the compressed fragment uh, fragment uh, data also so coming to the final step of the ssl these are the final step that is followed so the final step will have some fields that is called as the content type which is 8 bits it is nothing but it is the higher layer protocol which is used to process the fragment data major version 8 bits major version which is 8 bit uh, 8 bits is nothing but it will indicate the version of ssl that is being used now in this we can say that we have version 3 ssl minor version 8 bits is nothing but it is indicating the minor version of the ssl say you can tell it as 0 the value will be 0 compressed length 16 bits is nothing but this is the length in bytes so here for the plain text it is a length in bytes where you will be telling that the maximum value of a plain text will be 2 to the power of 14 plus 2048 so this will be the maximum value of a plain text fragment so the content type that you are providing in will use chain cipher spec protocol alert protocol handshake protocol which you will be seeing in the next series of video. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.